Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Dom and today we're going to be having a look at what I think is one of the most underused JavaScript methods, well at least in my opinion. Now, this method here allows you to take things from one element and then transfer it to a different element, alright? So, in this example right here, I've got two lists. I've got a list one and I've got a list two. Now heading inside VS Code here, we can see within the index HTML, I've got these two lists represented here with the IDs of list one and list two. So going down inside the JavaScript, I want to essentially swap around the contents of these lists between, of course, both of them. So take uh, the two items from here and place them in the top list and then vice versa the other way around. So let's have a look at how we can do this using this particular method. So hopping down in the JavaScript code itself, I'm going to begin by getting a reference to both the unordered lists. So we can say const list one equal to document dot get element by ID and pass through here list one and do the exact same thing for list two, just like this. Now, I now will want to get a reference to all of the elements within these lists. So let's make a second or sorry, a third constant called list one items equal to list one dot query selector all. So query selector all and then pass through here simply just li to select every single list item and do the exact same thing for the list two items. So now, even if we were to remove the items from these lists, we still have a reference to the deleted elements within these two arrays or these two, I believe the correct term is a node list. Um, but the point is we've got all of the items in a constant. So let's hop down and do the main operation, the swap. So how do we do this? Well, we can use a method called replace children. Now, I just want to call this method on list one without passing anything into it just to demonstrate what it does. So if we say list one dot replace children, then I can say an empty argument list. So calling the method by itself is going to produce this result right here. We can see the first list no longer has any items within it. If I go to the elements section of the dev tools, we can see here, of course, UL and there are no items within the unordered list. So basically this call is saying, let's replace all of the children elements in list one with nothing. So of course now for the proper usage of this method, you should pass some items into this particular uh, call here. So let's instead say dot, 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 then list two, sorry, list two items just like that. So of course using uh, the triple dots here, it is going to essentially extract out every item in this list and then provide them as separate arguments. So in the case of list two here, there are two items inside of there. So the dot, dot, dot is the equivalent of just saying list two items at index zero, then list two items at index one. Okay, so this is the exact same thing, but for shorthand, I'm just going to say dot, 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 then list two items. Let's save this and go back in the browser and we can see that now what's happened is we have well, let's have a have more of a look here. So list one dot replace children. Okay, so my mistake here. We can see that nothing's changed. That's because I have left this to be list one. This should be list two for list two's items. Okay, so now list two items is correct. Let's try it again. And we can see here that now list one has the list items. List two does not. Okay, that's because we've replaced everything in list one with the things in list two, but that's going to take them from list two. Okay, it's not going to copy them, it's actually going to take them. So it's moved from list two to list one. So how do we get list two to have the items from list one? Well, very straightforward. You simply say list two dot replace children, then pass through here list one items, okay? I'll save this and try again. And we can see now it has been swapped over. So 
like I mentioned earlier, because we originally got a reference to the items in the form of these two constants here, we can simply then recall this method down here to of course restore those items, but this time they've been swapped around. So in terms of the usage for uh, the replace children method in JavaScript, uh, well, I don't have a correct answer for you at the moment. However, I did see online that uh, this method can be used for things such as when you have a multi-select list and for example, you want to transfer items from one select dropdown um, to the next select dropdown, you can of course take advantage of this method within the front end to, uh, you know, of course, make that display happen. Now, that is only going to apply if you're using uh, vanilla JavaScript uh, instead of a framework such as Vue or React, um, because of course in a framework that's uh, you know done differently a lot of the time. But the point is you can of course add this method to your list of things to consider for your next JavaScript front-end project. And that is all for today's video. Hope you guys learned something and you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to drop a like and subscribe to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.